Good morning, friends. Good morning. I got an old-fashioned book for today. It's called Johnny Crow's Garden. And I'm reading this because I'm going to work in my garden today. Have you been working in your garden? Well, let's see who's out there. Let me say good morning. Good morning, Sam and Henry. I'm going to see you later today. Good morning, Samantha and Benny. Hi, Hannah and Noah. Are you coming to see Grandma and Grandpa today? I hope so. Hi, Kayla and the kids. Um, hi, Natea and Madeline and Zachary, Aria, and Colin. Hi, I said good morning to all my little friends. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. So I've been going through and looking for books to read, and I found some very, very old books. And I like to read old, old-fashioned books to you once in a while, something different that you might not have seen before. So this book was printed in London. It's called Johnny Crow's Garden. And this copy used to be at a library in Florida. A lot of the pictures are black and white. And then there's some full colorful pictures. It's all written in rhyme, just like some of the books I read the other day. And it's drawn by Leslie Brooke. I like the artwork. Johnny Crow's Garden. Johnny Crow would dig and sow. And there he is out in the garden. Till he made a little garden. And the lion, what do you think the lion's going to do? You don't usually see a lion in the garden. Had a green and yellow tie on. They made silly rhymes. How does he look? Very dandy, doesn't he? Where's he going? What's he going to do when he gets there? Whisper to someone next to you. In Johnny Crow's garden. And the rat wore a feather in his, that's right, hat. In Johnny Crow's garden. It's going to say that every time. But the bear had nothing to mm -hmm, wear. So the ape, what's the ape going to do? Took his measure with the tape. Is he using, using a measuring tape? Why is he measuring him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you think he's going to fit him with some clothes? If you go to a tailor, then they'll measure you, measure your clothes to make them fit. In Johnny Crow's garden. Oh, how's the bear look? Look at the lion. How's he feeling? <laughs> you think he's feeling jealous that the bear's looking so good? Then the crane, there's the crane, was caught in the rain. Does that rhyme? Mm-hmm. Crane, rain. Give me another word that rhymes with that. Right. Pain. Mm-hmm. And in Johnny Crow's garden. Oh, what a nice picture. What's the crane doing? Mm-hmm. Do you ever hold up an umbrella walking in the rain? Sure. And the beaver was afraid he had a fever. Beaver, fever. Can you think of a word that rhymes with that? It's a little harder, huh? Lever. But the goat said, it's nothing but his throat. In Johnny Crow's garden. So some of the pictures are just black and white drawings and some are beautiful, colorful pictures. What's gonna happen next? And the pig danced a, that's right, jig. What rhymes with pig and jig? Big, mm-hmm. 
Did anyone say dig? Oh, that's a good one. That's what I'll do today in the garden. In Johnny Crow's garden. Then the stork gave a philosophic talk. What's a philosophic talk? When somebody talks about higher level things and about life. Till the hippopotami, see, that's more than one hippopotamus. Till the hippopotami said, ask no further, what am I? While the elephant said something quite irrelevant. Okay, Sammy, Samantha, what does irrelevant mean? That's a good word. Oliver, do you know that word irrelevant? Mm-hmm, yeah. So if it's irrelevant, it, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't apply. In Johnny Crow's garden. And the goose, well, what's the goose gonna do? What's that sign say? You are kindly requested to keep off the grass. <laughs> what's he doing? Is he following the sign? What's the goose gonna do? The goose was a goose. What does that mean? Does that mean he's not gonna listen? In Johnny Crow's, that's right, you say it, garden. Any more animals gonna join them? Let's see, yes. And the mouse built a good house. That's right. Built himself a little house. Where the cat, what's the cat gonna do? Sat down beside the mat. Cat, mat, what else rhymes with that? Give me some more rhyming words. Mm-hmm. Right, sure, hat, pat. In Johnny Crow's garden. And the whale, what's the whale gonna do? What do you think, Madeline? What do you think, Matea? He told a very long tale. What does tale mean? It doesn't mean, that's not, not that kind of tale, it's spelled differently. What's a tale? Henry? Yeah, a story. A tale is a story. In Johnny Crow's garden. And the owl was a funny old fowl. Do you know what fowl means? Mm-hmm. Did you say it, Samantha? Mm-hmm. Zachary? Yeah, a fowl means bird. And the fox, uh-oh, what's the fox gonna do? Let's find out. Put them all in the stocks. That's something you might have seen in the olden days, or if you went down to Williamsburg. That's where you put people and you put their feet so that they can't get out. Can you see how their feet are going through holes in the wood? Oh no. Look at the pig's face. How does he feel? Oh, that sly old fox. What's going to happen now? How are they going to get out? In Johnny Crow's garden. Oh, look at the giraffe. His head is in the stocks. But Johnny Crow, he let them go. Yay! And they all sat down to their dinner in a row. Row rhymes with crow. What else rhymes with that? Mm-hmm. Bow. Mm-hmm. They all sat down to dinner. And the last page says, In Johnny Crow's Garden. And down here in small print, it says, goodbye. This is a very old book. I was looking for the date. I didn't see the date. It says, drawn by Leslie Brook. I'm guessing the date would be maybe 1930s, before I was born. So I was thinking you might like this book. I'm getting ready to go to the garden center. 
I'm gonna get some more plants to plant outside. I already got some peas to put in the garden and some tomatoes and jalapeno peppers. What are you all gonna plant in your garden? Turn to someone next to you and tell them what you're gonna plant or what you'd like to plant. I'll wait. Who said pumpkin? That would be fun. All right. Well, it's a great day to plant out in the garden. So you can go plant out in the garden. It's fun to dig in dirt. Or can you draw a picture of you planting in the garden? And I'd love for you to write some sentences about your garden and what you're gonna grow. And then what are you gonna do with it after it grows? Are you gonna eat it? Are you gonna cook with it? <gasps> Can't wait. Have a great day. Love reading to you. Love you. Love Mimi. Bye.